up everyone all pro exterior services here again with a video on my new additional reel i decided to go with electric not because i wanted electric just because the hand crank wouldn't work because the hand the reel with the hand crank and the space you need to wind the reel up is actually bigger than the electric so i had i went with the electric because of my footprint so i got that uh the honey reel it's a 1520 17-18 LT it's rated for 3,000 PSI which is what I'm running it also comes with a button so you can mount your button on either side of the reel which is nice you also get the solenoid that comes with it so I'm gonna mount this close to the reel and then from the solenoid they recommend a six gauge wire I want the lows picked up you know eight foot of wire because I thought I had some I didn't and I also bought a circuit breaker 40 amp circuit breaker so it's a manual circuit breaker so you can actually turn it off and kill the power to the reel and obviously i got my dn10 with the swivel from russ johnson along with my hose finally and when i run these reels or any reels i connect hard in here i don't do a connector i don't do a quick coupler i don't do it some guys do it it's either way i don't do it I, it's just i screw it right into here and I screw my ball valve right into the other hose. So it eliminates some connection to points uh, that can leak. So that's kind of where we at with it. One other thing I wanted to note, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but this, this little circuit breaker came with a couple of lugs, which is kind of cool, and the screws. So if you ever want to know if a screw is stainless steel or not, put a magnet on it. If it, if it sticks to the magnet, it's not stainless. So these are obviously not stainless screws. So, and it really don't matter. Just, I guess it does matter uh, if it's going to be out in the weather. But you know, remember, stainless does, doesn't mean it never stains. It just stains less stainless. So, but anyway, I'm going to go prepare the trailer and try to start drawing out the, the, the holes where I got to drill and mount this thing. I got the bolts to mount it. And so we could reel up this hose and put it on the trailer and run the eight gallon off of this. All right, guys, catch up with you in a minute. I got the hose drilled. I had to move my DS box up just because it was going to hit the top of the reel. I had to tie strap the suction hose because the motor sticks right there. So it's kind of a little bit further than I want it, but it's not bad. And using 3 8 grade 8 bolts. So I'm going to clean this up and mount it up here. And I'm going to mount the solenoid probably underneath here in this angle. Somewhere close to the wiring so I can just tap into it. So And then I'll run my wiring there up to the battery and ground out on the chassis close to the reel. Not on the reel, but close to the reel. So let me get that set up and I'll get back with you in a second. But there's the reel, ready to roll, baby. I'm ready to put this thing to work. So anyway, get back with you in a second. Got the reel drilled out, got the solenoid mounted right here. Put some lock washers and all that good stuff on it. So of course I put marine grease on everything, on my terminals to keep them from corroding. So. As you can tell, we've got a close fit here with the hose. It is a little breathing room, not much, but it's good. It's good. It's going to look good. Looks good. Uh, I got it a little bit away from the unloader. That way I have room here to work on the unloader if I need to. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Let me get to hopping and uh, I'm going to get this reel <clears throat> mounted with the 3 8 grade 8 bolts. Be nice. back. I had to stop last night. got a little late, but anyway, I got the switch wired. I just used a 16 gauge two conductor, which is recommended by Hane, and just put the switch in here. And I'm gonna route my wires toward underneath the reel back to my solenoid and uh, go from there. So I also put a lug on this is my main wire, the six gauge is gonna come from the battery again with the with the uh, circuit breaker here, which is kind of cool inline circuit breaker. So like 10 bucks on Amazon. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of nice, and I'm going to run this side, actually, to the battery, obviously, but I'm waiting to do that last till I get the grounds hooked up and everything else. So i got to run a ground, because you got to ground the motor, and you also have to ground the solenoid. So I'll just put a bolt somewhere and ground that out. All right, guys, let me finish up and uh, keep you posted. When I got the wires ran, so we got the switch, 16-gauge, two-conductor, running around, strapped to the reel, to your solenoid post here. I have the ground from the solenoid and the ground from the motor tapped into a bolt here 
and then of course your power wire that feeds it with a six gauge going back here all the way to a 40 amp circuit breaker so you can easily disconnect the power to it if you wanted to or access power or allow power and then of course to the battery so we got everything pretty much done let's do a test for the first time i think i'm gonna get some wire loom here but you know and i'm gonna cover this up a little bit that way nothing falls on it so let's test it out look at that look at that wow thing's a beast so yeah pretty easy install just a little wiring not bad i was going to ground it back to the battery but contacted Hane and they said no nah, just ground it on a frame somewhere you'll be okay so that works out perfect and the wires were kind of short on here if it was a little longer i would have mounted that solenoid underneath the reel but it's okay nothing's going there anyway it gives me access to it so again i'm gonna plumb that with a continuous 200 foot of single wire non-marking hose and again i'm gonna, I'm gonna screw the fittings directly into the reel i don't use quick connects on the reel i go straight into here on the feed but i will use on my jumper hose i will use a quick connect from the unloader block to right here so we're good folks everything's mounted things a beast <laughs> love it real all hooked up got the hose on it just hooking up my jump line and uh reeled up nice uh gotta put my ball valve on but one little thing i do a little marine grease or waterproof grease i take a little q-tip and I run it inside of my uh, my injector here. I mean my uh, coupler here. Just put a little coat of grease on it. It helps getting it off later. And then I put some on this side as well just before I put it in. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this thing hooked up here. Put the ball valve on it. And we're wrapped. We're done. I'm, uh, I drain the tank again. Clean out the filters again in, in case there was anything else in there. So we're good. So anyway... I'll get this thing cranked up here in a minute and uh, just test the reel out and whatnot. But anyway, the reel went well, so all good. Any uh, comments, questions, don't hesitate to ask. Appreciate the subs and likes. Keep them coming. Peace.